I'm, I'm saved and on most days I'm sanctified. <laughs> Filled with the Holy Ghost. I'll be full of the Holy Ghost till I get in traffic. <laughs> and then the devil come in. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, but uh, the Lord is keeping me day by day. I grew up in a home where my parents were strict Baptists, but they did have some Pentecostal traits. Like when they would uh, lay hands on me. Oh, not on my head for deliverance or healing. <laughs> they laid them on my backside. <laughs> and the church said, Amen. <laughs> Yes, Lord, I'm telling you, we got so many whoopings, man. I thought I had been wounded for my transgressions, bruised for my iniquities. I thought the chastisement for my peace had been laid upon me. And I'm telling y'all, by them stripes, I was healed. <laughs> Places I used to go, I didn't go no more. Things I used to do, I didn't do no more, y'all. I had a new walk and a new talk. I'm serious, man. My parents get through whooping me. I start singing songs like this. Oh, he touched me. <laughs> Yes, Lord, man, we got them whippings, y'all. I thank God for them now, I think. Look at somebody say, now I thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was like, where was certain songs when I was a little kid that could have helped me out? My mother, you know how your mother talked to you before she get ready to give you that whooping? Like you're going to have an option, like the talking going to make a difference? I'm telling you, man, my mother said, well, 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 what do you think I should do? And I said, man, wouldn't it have been great if I could have thought of this song if this song had been out when I was a kid? She said, boy, well, why shouldn't I whoop you? Give me good, one good reason. I could have said, mom, we fall down, but we get up. We fall down. She said, that ain't good enough. That ain't good enough. You got to give me another reason. Well, because I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to whoop you. You better say something. And then I could have just backed up and said, no weapon formed against me. Shall Welcome to Music Diary Group, the hottest podcast for inspirational and gospel entertainment. I am your host, Sincere on Beats. And I am your girl, Day C. D A Y C E E, in the place to be. What up, Day C? How you feeling today? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling today? I'm good, man. I'm chilling, holding it down because you know what? Laughter is medicine. Yes. yes. So yeah. that's what we're going to talk about today, man. Laughter through this situation that you are going through, through everyday life struggles. Sometimes you just got to laugh at things, man. Right, right. And before we get into it, yep. who's the sponsor for this show? Beauty Par is our number one sponsor because without them, we cannot do this. As Beauty Par, B-E-A-U-T-E-P-A-R.com. So go check it out. All right. So laughter is medicine. Oh, yes. It's okay. very much so. So it actually helps. So how how does laughter help us? What does it help us with? Um, me it helps me with anger. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, well, first of all, let me let me let me back up. Uh, can I answer that? Because, yeah, you know, I, I find humor in almost everything. So how I define it is different from how you would define it you know what i'm saying like well i ask i just ask how does it help you oh <laughs> how does it help me yeah what what is how does laughter help people i don't in think general? i understood that question yeah clearly <laughs> so how does it help me how does it help people in general I, i'd say it helps them get through their day mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it helps them uh their blood pressure come down mm. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, so it ha it has health benefits, too. Yeah, it does. Just like medicine. Keeps the, re the wrinkles off your face. Yeah. And you know what I heard? Um, it's laughing. like natural collagen. Yeah. And you know what else I heard? That uh, laughter helps the stomach muscles, too. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually does because you're laughing. Have you ever laughed so hard your stomach hurt? Yeah, so you could get abs from laughing if you laugh enough maybe <laughs> Yo, you should tickle me <laughs> <laughs> that's just to make you laugh get your ab workout and you know what it also helps with um it helps you like you said to get out of a funk yeah like if you're just in a bad mood you're just having a bad day um sometimes you gotta laugh to stop from crying i know you've heard that term before that's like my favorite thing though laugh now cry later i think that yeah laugh now cry later I don't understand why I can't say that right now. But, yeah, laugh now, <laughs> cry later. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I like that. I was going to get a tattoo of that years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then you know what it does, too? We talked about what you just said earlier, um, taking a break from stressful times, right? So it's a lot of stuff going on right now. Oh, yeah. 
And, you know, um, I was looking at um, a special. I like my documentaries. And so they have a documentary on TV about comedies, about okay. comedy shows. And they were saying that a lot of them were um, um, popular doing really tough times, doing wartime and doing times when there was a lot going on in the world. People, I could see that, though. Yeah, people really needed needed to like that break. Right. And so, you know, it, it also provides balance. Don't you think it balance? You can't always be serious all the time. No, I know people who are always serious. And then, you know, when, when they meet me, it's like I get on their nerve. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't got no off switch. Yeah, I get do have an off switch. I have an off switch. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the time it's on. Mm-hmm. I can't help that. Man. <laughs> Sometimes I want to slap you too. <laughs> so, um, you know, what are some ways that we can incorporate laughter into our lives? And I'm sure you're good at this. This is your pro at this. So tell us, enlighten us. I mean, I'm 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 situational. So every situation you can actually make that into comedy. You know what I'm saying? Um <laughs> I'm I'm serious. Every situation I can laugh at almost any anything. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so so just finding funny situations in everyday life. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you had come up with one. You you had reminded me about a situation in church. <laughs> Yo, tell us about that. What happened? We was in uh California. Fa- what is it? Faithful Central. Fa- big up to Faithful Central. Yeah, shout Bishop out to Faithful. Omer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and um, we was he was <laughs> he was talking about something, and then you know he likes to tell <laughs> stories. So, cause he gonna laugh again. So I have to say it. So, <laughs> so he was using the um, the little rascals. Was it the little rascals? Yeah, it was a scene the little- from the little rascals. And then uh, one of the characters, uh, he said, "I did did the doc." And he <laughs> Alfalfa was like, "What? I did did the doc? What?" And so what he was trying to say is, "I'm afraid of the dark." And zero beats over here. Was trying really hard <laughs> not to fall under the seat because he was preaching. You know, when the pastor's preaching, it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little chuckle, but somebody was about to start crying, laughing. I was. <laughs> the pastor had to go on the other side of the room. I was, man, I was tearing up, man. I was crying. <laughs> trying to hold it, trying to hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got in the car later. He busted up for like, what, 15, 5, 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> why was that so funny? <laughs> so situations. <laughs> See, <laughs> I don't. I'm laughing because he's laughing because I still don't know. I don't understand why it was so funny to him. <laughs> but that goes into the next point, right? I'm sorry. Oh, I gotta wipe my eyes. <laughs> See? So you gotta you gotta find things oh that's funny God. for you. Oh man. Oh goodness. Yeah. That was funny, Still, man. How long ago was that? Five that years? was some years ago. Five years ago. <laughs> it was so freaking funny, man. So Oh my God. Yeah. Sometimes I find things funny at the inappropriate times. hmm That's most times though. Yeah, and you that's that's your sense of humor. Yeah. Right? So um, you got to find something that works for your sense of humor because my sense of humor might be a little bit different. You know, um, if you find a, find a good show or comedy that appeals to your sense of humor. So I'm, my sense of humor is more sarcastic. I like that sarcastic. You don't like no sarcastic. Get out of here. I do. No, you a don't. A lot of stuff I look at is the sarcastic stuff. Nah, you like that, that missed you like nobody would get type mm-hmm. of humor that's sarcastic that's sarcasm nah <laughs> that's called sarcasm nah. dry sarcasm i think that's like hilarious that dry humor right and some people like slapstick you know falling over things tripping over stuff some people like you know anybody like that what the trips like over trip, things? yeah no yeah me either <laughs> that's what's called slapstick humor it's, it's over the top i never heard that before yeah and then you have what was the other one toilet humor I can't stand toilet humor. 
That's that little. That's nasty stuff. Oh really? Poop and and passing gas and that kind of stuff. I do that. I don't know if that's your humor. No. Nah. That's the kind of humor you like. No, I like that sarcastic humor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really enjoy that. Right. So you know, everybody has something they find funny. So. Yeah, you have to find what fits you. You right. know, and watch watch stuff that makes you laugh. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, if you if you chilling with somebody. You got to come to like some kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like some kind of, not compromise. agreement. Yeah, compromise, man. So you both can laugh. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because it ain't funny if one person just laughing. Well, it's funny to me. I don't care. But you but. know what, though? For me, like we, we might not have the same sense of humor all the time. But I, if you laughing, if somebody's laughing really hard, they make me laugh. Yeah. Because they're laughing so hard. Right. And I might not even find it funny what you laughing at, but now I'm laughing at you laughing. Yeah, that's cool too. <laughs> I like that too. Yeah, cuz 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 you laughing so hard. And you know what? Another way to incorporate laughter is just to not take yourself so seriously. Right. Sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Mhm. Have you ever just had to laugh at yourself? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just like step back and like, "Oh, that was stupid." I laugh at myself <laughs> all the time. I'm like, "Really?" Ha. Mm-hmm. Right. You just think about some things. Ha. <laughs> That's what you do. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what? Have you can't have your whole circle can't be super serious and stuffy. You know, have a fun person in your circle. I agree. You know, you I know you you know people just as well as I who just flat. Mm-hmm. They don't laugh. <laughs> they just Yeah, how you doing? Eh? Mm-hmm. And if I laugh they I, I don't like that. I call them a pill. A pill? <laughs> I don't like taking pills. Yeah. But you got you got some people that are just, you know, you know, just like that. And then you got you got the fun person. You gotta have at least one fun person. What am I? Ah, oh, you the fun person. I'm the fun person. Yeah, you the fun person. <laughs> you hear that, viewer? Listener? I think they got that <laughs> from listening maybe, to you. <laughs> maybe maybe. I guess I would be the stuffy one, right? No, I got people saying I was I'm an angry person. Not I'm not angry, angry though. No, no. I just you know when I speak sometimes I'm real passionate. Right, I agree. You know, but I'm mm-hmm. not. I'm not. I'm not angry at all. Mm-hmm. Passionate about everything. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, <you are. laughs> yes. So, um, so yeah, these are some ways to just incorporate laughter in your everyday life. Just laugh at stuff. You know, sometimes it's just like you got to laugh at it. You can look at things and just you know find something funny about right. it. Right. Right. And so the takeaway is simply what? It's okay to chill. Yes. It's okay to chill sometimes. It's okay to chill, relax, you know, put on a comedy. It's okay. You don't have to be all uptight, you know, especially what's going on today. Um, you know, this world is crazy, but you shouldn't be surprised, you know. Um just laugh, you know. Right now I can't I can't watch anything that's aggressive. You know, I was telling Daisy, yo. I have to watch comedies right now, you know, because it will mess up my my emotions, my mood. You know, I've, lately I've been a little cranky, you know, um, but I still got to watch comedy, you know. Um, and that's what you got to take to consideration, too. If you're feeling some type of way, what are you watching? What are you listening to? Mm-hmm. Yes, that balance thing. It goes back to balance. Yeah. We did a, uh, mm-hmm. a podcast on that, right? All right. We talked about... Um, yeah, well, music and how music affects mood. Yeah, the mood manipulator. Yes, yeah, and so you know. Yeah, click right here on the card. You see it on the um left hand side on the top. Yeah, and how that that affects mood. What you're looking at definitely affects. You can't just look at the news, you know, all the time, and you know, not expect to start to feel a little angry. Right, right. And annoyed. So this is uh laughter is medicine for your mood of course <laughs> of course man you know you may not want to listen to like a lot of cursing you know even if you but you play a um you know like a, a a comedy show you know what I'm saying on tv whatever i understand if you don't want to listen to that but there's some clean stuff uh that's out there you know you gotta go on youtube or something yeah it's clean there's plenty of clean comedy out there yeah plenty. sinbad Mm-hmm. We listen to Sinbad. Sinbad do not curse in none of his joints, and he's funny. Mm-hmm. So you might want to go on YouTube and look up some of Sinbad's, um, you know, his 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 stand up. 
Right. Yeah. They got like I said they they do got you can find a lot of them on Netflix and on YouTube. Yeah, just on Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what's gonna happen in nine months. Oh boy. A baby. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, so I mean just laugh sometimes. Well, you can Netflix and chill. Hold on. Only if you're married, though. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying, if your marriage is good, you don't want to have no baby with somebody you can't get along with. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all are uh, <laughs> swimming, <laughs> swimming away. Come back to laughter is medicine. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like, um, you know, and I was just going to say, too, that, you know, like you said, on a, on a serious note, Medicine is, you know, uh, it's actually a biblical. I didn't look up the scripture, but it's in the Bible that you know, um, laughter is medicine for the soul. And so yeah, it is. Um, and so definitely, it's okay to laugh sometimes. I think people feel like if they laugh, they're not taking things serious. Um, but you can. It's okay to take a break and laugh sometimes and have that balance. There's a movie, not with Robin Williams, but it's another. It was a black movie. I forgot the actor's name where he was a doctor and I think he was sick himself. So he made people laugh and he figured out that, okay, laughter is the medicine. And he, I think he was healing himself or, or, or that was his therapy, like laughing. You know what I mean? I forgot the name of that movie, but you might want to look it up. Oh, matter of fact, it's the dude who played on paid in full. Oh, you don't know that I movie. Sure don't. Oh, yeah, so he played on pay, played in full, pay played in full, paid in full. I forgot his his name, but yeah, he he was a, he played a doctor. It's an yeah. older movie. You should probably put it in the um. I put it in the description. Yeah, yeah the description. That's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. look for it in the description. So hey, since you're on beats, yo, do you know what Fifty Cent did when he got hungry? This is a joke. I'm asking you a question. Do you know what 50 Cent did when he got hungry? I'm scared. Is it a joke first? Ask me. Just Answer uh, the question. Yeah. What did he do? 58. (laughs) 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 And you know what else? (laughs) All right. I can can roll with that. Hey, and so uh, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is I got gas yesterday for $1.99. Unfortunately, it was from Taco Bell. What? <laughs> I can't say, wait, it say again. that again. Say that again. No, they the ruins the joke. You gotta. Listen. I'm trying to think. So I got gas <sighs> yesterday for a dollar ninety nine. Oh wait a minute. Oh, ew. Like farting gas. Wow. Never <laughs> mind. You just kill that. I hope whoever was listening to it got that because you just killed the whole thing. That which means you wasn't listening. To I me was I, listening. Yeah, you you said you got ga- gas for a dollar ninety nine. So <laughs> unfortunately, it was from Taco Bell. Yeah, it gave you gas. Wow! Like fart gas. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for explaining the punchline, everybody. You can't. Yep. You know. So big up to my sister DJ for oh, the corny gosh. jokes. Um, she has been dubbing herself the corny joke queen on Facebook. <laughs> I wonder if Laffy Taffy still do jokes on their candy. Yeah, they do. How you know? When's the last time you ate Laffy Taffy? Probably like not even a year ago. I always look for the Laffy Taffy jokes. Always. I'm going to have to go get a Laffy Taffy. Shout out to <laughs> Laffy Taffy makers. Yes. I like the banana flavor and the uh, apple. Yeah, those jokes are pretty good sometimes. But see, you know what? Sometimes the corny jokes are funny. That's true. So I big up to anybody that's putting jokes out there and just trying to lighten people's day. Yeah, Make th- people laugh. Yes, yes. Shout out to you, man. I got an inappropriate joke. I can't even say it right Good. now. Good, don't say it. I'm not. I mean, it ain't nasty or nothing. It's just, mm-hmm. it's racial. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna say it. I tell. <laughs> I tell you later. Okay. <laughs> so, who was that person? That did you say who the a comedian was that we were listening oh, to that earlier? Was, yeah, yeah. My bad. That was Project Rice. Oh. Um, you can find him on YouTube. You know, uh, Instagram. Everything will be in the description. And then, um, I want to play a little snippet of uh, Small Fire. She's a comedian, man. Um, I, I think she's from either Mississippi or Atlanta. But um, yeah, she's she's pretty cool. So we're gonna um, you know, uh end with her. She's she she's mad country too. So yeah, small fire. Shout out right. to everybody, man. Uh all the comedians trying to, you know, make a difference by, 
making people laugh and get through their day, their week, their months, their year, all of that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we are out of here. Yo, if nobody told you that they love you, we, we do. do. All right, y'all have a great week. And, um, yeah, just remember to laugh. Yeah, get your giggles out. Get your giggles, all right? Peace out. Peace. I was crunk. You know, I was crunk for Christ. So what I did, I got me a job at the church because I figured that would give me an, an, an incent, an incent, incent. What is it, baby? Yeah, that's it. A reason to be there on a regular basis. <laughs> so I started playing the drums in the church, you know what I'm saying? Because that came easy to me. I was already a little tomboy, so you know I played the drums. And it was easy because I played doing testimony service. <laughs> Y'all know all them songs go to the same beat anyway. <laughs> Only problem I had when the older women like to make up their own song. And then get mad at me because I can't keep up with them. I'm like, hey, now, you the one over there freestyling. <laughs> you the only one in here know the words. Oh, hold on, Jesus, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> hold on, Jesus, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> she like, she is making this up. <laughs> and my grandma, she's just a remix Jesus on the main line. I know y'all know the traditional version. Go, Jesus on the main line. Oh, Jesus on the main line. Jesus on the main line. Oh, call him up in ten. You go, Grandma. When they testify, they explain the song they didn't made up. She said, you know, Jesus might call you, but you might not be there. But don't worry, all you got to do is start 69 him back to see what he wants. Your mama think we lost it on now. Now, y'all know how preachers, they be, they be preaching, and then after they preach, they fall into like a prophetic anointing.